welcome back to another video. Last time, I don't even remember when last time was. I showed this guitar off again. This is the Ricky Bacher. This is a $125 guitar that I bought from Guitar Fetish, and it's had some upgrades. I mean, you might notice different pickups. There's a hole in the back, and and this thing. What could that be? Actually, no. If you saw the last video, you would know that I installed a baritone switch. That that that. That's a Veritone right there. Honestly, the Veritone wasn't the easiest thing I've ever done to a guitar. I had to one, cut a hole in the back of the guitar, as you can see there. I had to cut a hole or drill a hole into the front of the guitar there. I had to figure out a wiring diagram. I had to find a capacitor, which I got. If you know easier places to find capacitors, please tell me. Skill level is definitely a, a six out of 10, I'd say. But when I posted that video, I asked if anyone would like to see a how-to video on how to do that. Unfortunately, <laughs> I didn't film any of what I did when I installed it because I just wanted to put the dang thing on and try it out. But I'm going to do a quick walkthrough and show you quickly and easily how I did this, how I installed it. I'm going to take the cover off the back, show you what the inside looks like, and how to wire one of these things. And uh, just, just a disclaimer, I am not an expert. I barely know what I'm doing. If you try this and die, you can't sue me. Okay? There we go. There's your disclaimer. So. Let's get into it! Oh, now. Sorry. Now. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, this is the plate that I put on the back, basically to hide the hideous hole that I put in this guitar. That's the only part that I'm not proud of, is the hole that I cut, but I did make a pretty good looking pick cover, or uh, hole cover plate I don't know uh, to cover it and it fits pretty good I just cut it out of a pick guard material and I think it worked pretty good so this is the hole that I cut in the back um, that was the hardest part of the entire process making myself cut a hole in a perfectly good guitar I just used a Dremel tool and was able to cut the hole it, it there's probably better ways of doing it, but that's just how I ended up doing. The way I figured out to do the hole was I started out with the pot on the front. I figured out my placement with where I wanted it to go, which was gonna be right here, right between the volume and tone of the neck pickup. Uh, I started that and I drilled a very small hole through the front of this and I made sure it was long enough to where it went all the way through and popped out the back just barely to where right there was where I knew I needed to drill. Then I took that hole and I figured about how much room I was going to need to be able to get in there and make a, you know, be able to put the Veritone in there and went off of that. So the Veritone wiring diagram was pretty simple to follow. This is the one I used. And there's a link down below for this same kit. I'll give one you. It does come from overseas and it takes forever to get to. It took about a month for me to get this. This little sucker here is the Veritone itself. The kit that I got comes completely unsoldered. You have to figure out the whole thing on yourself. And basically all it is is uh, your capacitors, which you have one here that you can't see. Two, three, four, five, and then a bypass. And then this should be a 250K resistance capacitor, but I didn't have a 250K, so I put a 110. And I'm pretty sure that's why it breaks up slightly, but I kind of like how it sounds, so I left it. Okay, so there's a better view of the whole thing. There is one capacitor coming off here, and then the rest are on the side. So ba they're, they're notch filters, pretty much. Uh, basically, all I did was size them up from biggest to smallest and did it like that. You split your Veritone in half, as you can see in the wiring diagram, and then you have to wire all of this side, capacitor here, and then all of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, all that go to this, and then there's a hot going from there out to the output jack, and then all these, Capacitors just go, the first one goes one, two, and then the rest of them you put one prong to each pole, and then they all, if you look right there, they all tie back together right there, and then you have your resistor that comes off your last pole, and then a hot that goes from there to the out on your uh, on your output switch. Oh, uh, on your, um, what is that thing called? Your plug? You know, where your jack, your output jack. 
So, all that being said with the Veritone installed, what does it do? It is basically like a, a notch filter, I guess you would say. It's got the different capacitors in it that just slowly change little tiny bits. Does that make sense? This is the guitar's new tone with the mini humbuckers and in bypass, which is the one position on here. And it's pretty, no, no effect. That's your neck. And bridge. Position two. This is like slightly rolling back a tone knob. Not a huge difference. Position three is very dark. Position four, also pretty dang dark. Dang dark, that, that's a technical term. Position five, oh, that's six, five, is also pretty dang dark. Not much of a note, to me, there's not much of a noticeable difference between four and five. I guess five does have a tiny bit more high, but not much. And then my favorite, position five. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, position six. It's so confusing. My favorite position is the bridge pickup in position six. It's got that real. So I actually finished this video yesterday and realized I forgot to film an outro. So here's your outro. That's it on the Veritone Switch. It actually, I, I like how it turned out. I mean, this is no Lucille. One day I will have a Lucille, but for a hundred, okay, so let's figure this out. I've got $125 in the guitar. Pickups cost me 50, so that's 175. 125 for the, uh, what is this thing? For the Veritone Switch. That's 200, we'll say less than $300 in a perfectly gigable 335 style guitar. I do want to get some uh, plate adapters to wear because like if you look, you can see inside, you can see the tape I put in there. I do want to get some adapters to hide that. Well, besides that, I'm pretty happy with that guitar. So yeah, that's it for this video. Let me show you one more quick guitar. This is another one that I built recently. I call it the Pony Caster because it's got horse hair. This is hair, not paint job. <laughs> I'd like to see more on guitars like this or even, you know, some custom guitars that I'm going to build. Or if you're just enjoying this guitar related content, please, I'm not filming. I was filming that entire time. If you're enjoying the guitar related content, please just let me know and I'll keep it coming. That's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe and comment what kind of guitar you'd like to see me build next. I will see you probably in a week. I think I'm going to go do one, like, one video a week. <laughs>